about guys the day is finally here uh, where should i start i don't know <laughs> so today's my first vlog i'm gonna be recording my 2017 rt ram i'm um, here in albuquerque um just i'm trying to go a little viral with my truck um just on how i build it and stuff um i have already done some work to it i bought the vehicle in 2017 yeah, so I live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm 21. Uh, my name is Erasmo Gonzalez, for those who don't know. And my new nickname is gonna be uh, Artesian Gizmo. And uh, um, for people that don't know about me, um, Gizmo is actually my dad's name that had been passed down to me. So I kind of kept along with it and um, all my friends started calling me because it was on my PlayStation um, network. Sorry, my garage is a little dirty, but uh, if this shit gets popping, I'm, I'm gonna make sure this garage is gonna be um, some of the Mopar um, theme, I guess you can say, because this is where my truck gets parked every day in the night. Um, just because I've had um, past experiences where I have actually been robbed, and we'll get late, later into that in this, um, during the video. But yeah, um, I'm gonna start. Go ahead and show you guys the Ram right now. So we are here. Um, this is my. 2017 ram rt um, as you can see i already have a couple of mods done to it um, regarding the grill uh, it's a gunmetal gray the weather got kind of ugly dude i don't know if you guys can see it but it's starting to get cloudy and really ugly i mean i was supposed to do a whole ass review of the truck today but i mean it's kind of chilly out here dude and i'm really not looking forward to being in the cold but i mean i guess that we can go through with some of the stuff that i have done to it so yeah um i bought the the truck completely stock um it didn't have no drop no nothing other than the rt ram which i'm pretty sure you guys know how it is um, I did I did a little bit of work to it by myself um, me and my friend Edwin and friend Efren which you guys will be knowing in this channel for sure yeah so this is truck check out the the ASAP sticker ASAP fan for sure for sure you know me and my boy Rocky be doing some things you know what I'm saying nah I'm just playing but yeah so let's get to it bro um when I got the truck it was stock. I put a Baltic 2.4 drop on it, which made it look like that. And it's, I mean, it, it rides good. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. It was really easy to install because me and my friend Edwin did it ourselves. And my friend Edwin, we both, well, all three of us did it together. And uh, yeah, I also had to replace the right headlight here because um, I don't remember what exactly happened. Um, me and my friend were outside in this house and um, I came in, in through the front and I just seen all of it black because it was missing. I don't know if they hit it here and it shattered down, but I had a black taillight for the longest time ever. Whoever remembers me see, seeing me in the truck with the black headlight, that's throwback, throwback for sure. It was literally like almost probably like a month and a half since i got the vehicle um something else that i did to the ram well the second thing that i did to the ram was my crespo wing um i ordered it from crespo the first time um and the reason why i'm saying i, I the first time and the second time is because this is actually the second wing that i bought my first one was stolen um from the movie theater me and my girlfriend went to go watch uh, lion king and had a good time by the time i came out of my truck uh, the right left piece wing right here there's a piece that goes to it and I have them in, in the in the garage but I'll show them to you guys I had the Crespo piece right here and I had pr issues putting it on with the, the double sided tape and um, it couldn't it wouldn't stick really good but I ended up finally getting it right the point is um, point is I had this Crespo piece on and it was loose I had a doubt that it wasn't going to stick so whenever I came out of the movie theater, I saw that it was completely gone, right? So I was like, fuck, I lost my Crespo piece. And as I get close, closer to the truck, I see that this whole piece was missing. 
and so was the the right side of the piece and uh yeah so i i f i tried to get into security at the movie theater to see if i could look at the cameras to see who stole my crespo wing eventually i found out who i did who who did it but i didn't do anything about it just because i'm not that type of person to be like oh um eye for an eye like yeah he may have stole my crespo wing but i didn't do nothing to 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 him just because i was trying to get the the good karma in return and um it worked out perfectly like now i have i have a new crespo hopefully this one don't get stolen i'm crossing my fingers it don't because that would suck the yeah it comes with the 22 oem rts um this set was given to me, given to me by uh my boy leo which you guys will know very shortly because today we'll be hanging out i hope um but yes those are 265 40rs 22s so they're a little bit thinner than the stock RT uh, tires. That's all my four. I do have some curb rash on them, but nothing to the extent. I mean, they're they are pretty basically new. They're they're really reliable. I've only gone through one set of tires so far. I mean, like a whole whole set. But I have changed the back ones quite a bit because of this fun that we have, which you guys will also be a part of. And my last mod that I made um, was the grill. And um, this grill, I had bought it from a, a local here in uh, New Mexico, Albuquerque. Um, actually, he's my friend, Fito. Um, Fito, if you're watching this, shout out to you, brother. Yeah, so I went and painted it the first time. I did it so that these gray pieces right here were black. And the only gray gunmetal color was the little outside line that goes like that i don't know if you guys can see it but yeah uh that was the only thing that was gray before everything was black which i kind of regret painting because it would have gone good with my crespo now that i have a new one and a black one um my rt badge is from a stock grill or the original grill um everything is the way that rt would come i mean nothing too special i do plan on going lower on my suspension um I'm honestly debating if I should go and cut the springs a little bit. I mean, people do not recommend it at all because it's a shitty ride. But, I mean, if it makes it look good, then it's fine with me. Because low means low. And so low I, when I install my crystal, which I might be able to do because I still need to fix it a little bit. I have, I put the, my first set of crystal wing had all the bolts across, straight across. But I actually bought this crystal wing from my cousin. And he also has an RT, which you guys will be seeing here very shortly. Um, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or today. But, uh, yeah, so I put just a little bit of uh, a drilled in where the, the plastic piece goes over the, the bed. And then there's holes literally all across. I put a little bit of 3M side tape right here in the middle just so that it wouldn't move up a little bit. Because the last problem I had with my other crystal was that it kept moving it kept moving up and down and it actually scratched and let me see if i can show you guys that but i don't know if you guys can see that little scratch right there that was because of the crespo moving it scratched my shit so i had to cover it up but that's all for the outside and i'll show you guys my exhaust here in a little bit and but i'm gonna show you guys the interior too. to a 2017 ram rt um it's pretty basic i got my ram fan fanboy sticker on and i got the sixes right there which i'm a big huge huge jordan fan if you guys can tell i got the ones on today with the nike fucking sweatpants and the nike sweater but enough with the drip today because we we got a whole lot of a whole lot of time to see you guys what i can be wrong. actually push start so let's go ahead and start it up for you guys so the one of the that came on the ram i don't know if you guys saw it but it said sport across the center um a lot of people who have rts that are my friends that i know that have rts do not have that mode or that little thing that goes across that says sport um i'm thinking it's just thinking it's just because of the the newer year um my check my check engine light is on but because of something of my shutters i guess they broke when i was going on a trip to phoenix i gotta get that fixed but we'll make a video on that for sure. And I know there's a video on YouTube that explains how to fix it. But we just haven't had time right now. But 
soon we will on the channel um this is my my screen you can see it comes with the radio X sxm i got the median and goody four goody Findor. it's pretty lit music uh, we got the controls right here we got a heated seats heated wheel the mirror dimmer we got a backup camera that is broken at the moment and we got on the heated seat for the passenger side we do get apps um i really don't fuck with them that much because i don't have uh internet and wi-fi installed in the vehicle so it kind of beats the purpose but yeah we have navigation we have our climate here i mean it's off right now our navigation and this is the cool thing that i like about this is um let me just turn it on uh see you we'll edit that out later so you guys don't see where i live <laughs> But uh, let's go to options. Let's go to settings. Let's go to map setup. Let's go to vehicle icon. If you guys have a Ram RT and you guys don't know, know about this, um, leave a comment in the in the leave a comment below. If you guys have an RT and haven't seen this, leave a comment below because I didn't know this until my friend Leo showed me. But we can actually choose the icon that we want on our on our navigation system so we got the chrysler 300 we got the default arrow we got a challenger we got a charger we got a viper and this is pretty cool because i never thought they would they would have put something like this on the truck and you can see there's a little icon it's moving around and that's the that's the little thing that's on the on the gps but we, we also got more we got the grand cherokee which is my favorite um, I think I'd choose this one over the Viper just because I think this one's more, uh, I guess you can say it's, it's more of a reality to get one because this Viper is pretty hard, but I don't think I could afford one of those yet. Uh, maybe if this YouTube thing goes good as, as planned, maybe we might be able to get one of those and we might be able to get a, a review on a Viper one day. <laughs> But yes, so the, that's the thing we're gonna accept that one, and then we got our phone, which is pretty cool and pretty easy. We do have the shift knob. Um, they came out with this in 2014 when the first RT came out of that generation. Um, other than that, before we had the 13 centerpiece that would go into the Prindle, as my boy Mr. Mosby would say. I was really worried about this at first because my cousin, he had gotten his two, uh, 2014 Ram in 2015 when we were in high school. And I always I always got it with him on debating if I would ever get this because I don't know, it just looks weird. But now that I've had it, I actually like it. And I also know that the 13 that has the centerpiece in here with the Prindle um, is a six speed and mine is a eight speed transmission. So that's how you know uh, eight speed, it got the, the little shift knob. So I'm gonna go inside my garage so I can show you guys the exhaust that I have for it. Uh, it's not a performance exhaust, it's just a straight pipe. I did not know before that there was actually exhaust, like exhaust systems that I could have put on. And I went the cheap way, which is kind of easier. Didn't have to hesitate with it at all. But I did go straight pipe and some people will tell me that it's bad for my truck and it's sometimes some it's good because it's so cheap. But I wish I could have got a Carvin, like my boy Leo, he has the Carvin, which is, um, pretty nice and it sounds good the other day that i drove it it was fucking amazing um but yeah so i'm here in my garage and i'm gonna show you guys my exhaust uh, but look at that bro clean crespo i actually do have the pieces right here and shout out to my boy roger for actually selling it to me because he knew how bad it hurt me whenever they stole mine <laughs> but these are the side pieces uh it's a little bit dirty because of some shit that went on in the garage <laughs> i don't know what <laughs> But yes, this is one of the pieces, and then this is the other one. And uh, um, I don't think I'm gonna go with uh, screwing that into my truck because I mean it does secure it more. But my my pieces on my previous wing didn't work with the three M tape, so uh, I might be able to do that later on whenever I have some time. Okay, but so I'm gonna sh guys, show you guys the exhaust. Um, like I said, it's nothing but a straight pipe. I mean, it still sounds still sounds kind of mean. So that's my straight pipe RT. 
we are going to be doing an exhaust system change here soon hopefully um, and i'm probably going to go with carvin because my friend gonzalo who has a 2014 rt has that on his truck and my friend leo who has a 2016 with that carvin exhaust i just like the way that it sounds and it's pretty good okay, so we're recording and my mama just got out of work say say hi mom really come on just say hi to the camera <laughs> if, you're, if i come out on youtube i'm gonna be pissed That's what I'm so we're going well, to pick up my girlfriend right now um and after i'm gonna see if i can find um, a selfie stick or something to put on the on the truck so that i can hold have the phone on peace and not be holding it how i am right now just so that i won't be as much distracted and i can pay attention to the road because i don't want to fuck up but yeah um i'll get back to you guys whenever i get my girlfriend and possibly go to dollar tree or best buy it's the vibes we're on tonight got to get the night quill because nigga sick and shout out to my baby <sighs> Pa arriba, o como dice? Fuck. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa el centro, pa adentro. <laughs> that shit crispy. So, quick update. We did not go to Best Buy because we had to come home and do some stuff for my parents. But tomorrow we will continue in the morning. Because I am doing daily vlogs. So we'll see you guys then.